Have you ever experienced a difficult challenge in your life that brought you so much pain? Have you ever lost someone or something so dear to your heart that you feel you cannot bear the pain? Have you been down with an infirmity that you think death is better because of the pain you are feeling? I want you to know, God is aware of what you are going through. He is in the picture of everything and he is planning a blessing for you. Life can be so rough that sometimes you have to experience a lot of pain due to disappointment from people who you have trusted. But understand that you are not left without any hope. As long as you stay connected to God, he will surely bless you at the appropriate time. Sometimes you are forced to think that God hates you or has forgotten about you because of the pain you think he allowed you to experience. God does not work that way. He is our father and he has your best interest at heart. He loves you so much and sometimes he allows you to experience this type of pain so he can bless you. Whenever you experience pain, hardship and disappointment, do not give up. Do not lose hope and do not think your life is coming to an end. Inasmuch as your ways are right with Christ, your latter end will be a miracle and a testimony to others. Pain ushers you into your blessing. Therefore, see it as an opportunity to receive blessings. What is that thing that has caused you so much pain? You need to put your trust in God, like the woman with the issue of blood did. No matter how hard it is, even though it does not look like a change will come, when you depend only on God to save you, He will. His plans for you are of good and not of evil, that will bring you to an expected end. God is planning a blessing. You may not see it. Your pain may have lasted for a long time. You need to understand that it does not take God anything to change the life of a man in a single day. The pain you are experiencing is to help build your faith to be stronger. Sometimes, even when you are doing the work of God, you are bound to experience pain. That is why the Bible admonishes you to rejoice when you are faced with trial and temptation for the sake of Christ, because your reward is coming. Paul, who was so faithful to Christ and committed his life in spreading the gospel of Christ, also experienced great pain. At a point he was jailed, flogged and almost killed for the sake of Christ. But he never gave up because he was aware of the blessings that were coming his way. That is why he said you should run the race well because there is an everlasting blessing and reward for those that endure to the end. You may get your problems solved from the wrong places, but be sure that your blessings will never last because it is only God that gives everlasting blessings. Therefore, in your time of trials and tribulations, hold on to God and put your trust in Him, and you will not be put to shame. He is planning a blessing for you, so do not lose faith. Weeping may last for a night, your pain may seem to last for a while, but Inasmuch as Christ is concerned, joy will definitely come in the morning. Your morning is coming in the name of Jesus. You may trust God for a particular thing for a long period of time. It could be a child or a job. Childlessness is a very painful experience, especially when people around start putting pressure on you. Understand that there is nothing you are going through in life that someone else has not experienced. For instance, Hannah in the Bible was also faced with the issue of childlessness. She would weep and weep because she really desired to have a child of her own, but she never gave up on God and at an appropriate time, God blessed her with a promising child. Therefore, understand that the time of pain is a time to stick to Christ. He is the only one that can give you rest. You may think that your Christian life is an easy journey to embark on. However, God did not promise you that the road will be easy, but he promised to always be with you. Therefore, do not allow your pain make you sin against God because you may end up losing the blessings that God is planning for you. 
So many people resolve to look elsewhere for help. They turn their backs on God because they want a quick blessing. And this has made a lot of people live a life of sin. Remember, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul in hell? Aside the fact that your blessings will not last, you will equally lose your soul in hell. Therefore, I urge you to wait on the Lord, and He will surprise you in a way you will never imagine. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has the heart of man conceived that which God will do to those that love Him. God will never leave you without help. He is your helper and knows exactly what you need. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He watches over you day and night, and even in the middle of the night, be assured that He will come through for you. One of the major challenges you have as human beings is that you want things to happen in your own time. And when it does not happen that way, you feel God has abandoned you. It does not work that way. God sees the end from the beginning, and He knows what is best for you and the time that is best for you. That is why His time is always the best. God is planning a blessing for you, inasmuch as you do not give up or fall short of His grace. As long as you hold on to Him, He will never leave or abandon you. I know it is not always easy to go through tough times in life and still hold on to God, especially when there is no sign that things are changing. You may have lost someone that is so dear to your heart and you have decided that you cannot live anymore. Take courage in God's word. Study his word and get encouraged by the promises of God. Things will all fall in place at the right time for you. So many people resolved in committing suicide as a result of the pains they were experiencing. They felt the only solution was to take their own life. This is wrong. Taking one's life because of their situation and pain is never a good way of getting out of trouble and pain. If you know what God has planned for you, you will not allow the devil to speak destruction into your life and spoil things before your breakthrough comes. No matter what you are going through, suicide should never be an option because it is a sin. All you need to do in your time of trials is to depend on God. Seek His face and ask Him for help. Have faith that He will answer your prayers, and He will. Do not run to other people for help. God is the only way out of this. And you must equally live a holy life. Do not sin against God. You need to do away with anything that will hinder your access to God. And this is sin because Christ cannot behold sin. Therefore, if you want him to attend to your problems, you must be pure. God is preparing your blessings.